This is concept question 3.5 from chapter 12. And uh, they give us here the consumption function for a simple economy. So assume there are no taxes, therefore Y is the disposable income. Um, and investment is equal to 400. So in this economy, the equilibrium GDP is what, they ask. So we know that um, the equilibrium GDP for a simple economy is GDP is the level at which the GDP equals consumption plus investment. So let me pull up my little whiteboard here and I'll let's see if I can minimize it so we can see both at the same time. No, can't make it smaller. Oh, there we go, a little bit smaller. So we know that based on our consumption function here, we have that C equals 200 plus 0.75 Y. And Y, remember, is our GDP. So in order to find the level of Y or the level of GDP where consumption equal or where consumption plus investment equals that GDP, we want to also say Y equals C plus I. And that's going to give us our equilibrium GDP. So now how do we solve that? We basically now have two equations and two unknowns where we can um, solve now for Y. So the reason I say two unknowns is because they tell us what investment is, right? So we know our I is 400. So we really have that Y equals C plus 400. And we want to find where both of these equations are true. Okay, so I can just rearrange this second equation so that I know C equals Y minus 400. That's a zero, looks like a six. Um, okay, so that's just from this because I know that Y equals C plus 400. I don't know that C is just Y minus 400 if I subtract 400 from both sides of this equation. So now I can plug this in to my original equation up here, my consumption function, and then I'll just be able to solve for Y. So let me uh, go to a new page here and plug this in. So I know that C is Y minus 400, and from the consumption equation, equation, I know that that equals 200 plus 0.75 Y. Okay, so let's review what we've done. Let's go back, um, flip back to page. So we know they told us the consumption function is 200 plus 0.75 Y. So that's all this is right here, this equation. This second equation comes from the fact that we're looking for the equilibrium GDP. GDP is Y, and we know that the equilibrium happens wherever Y, the GDP, equals C plus I, consumption plus investment. So that's where this equation comes from. And then we're told that that I just equals 400. So we can say that Y, we want our Y to equal C plus 400, right? So I've just plugged in the 400 for I. Then this third equation just comes from rearranging this second one here where I have Y equals C plus 400. So I know that that just means C equals Y minus 400. And then on the next page, what I'm going to do is I'm going to take this and I'm going to plug it in where the C is in my first equation. So on my next page, what I end up with is Y minus 400 for that C equals 200 plus 0.75 Y. And that's what we have here. Y minus 400 equals 200 plus 0.75 Y. So now it's just a matter of solving this equation for Y. So I end up, um, let's get all the Y's on one side together. Let's do a little algebra here. 
Um, so we get y minus 0.75y, because I'm bringing this, I'm bringing this y to this other side, and then I want to bring this 400 to this side, so I get that equals 200 plus 400. So y minus 0.75y equals 600. Now I can factor out a y, and I have y times 1 minus 0.75 equals 600. And I know now that y just equals 600 divided by 1 minus 0.75, which is 0.25. So now I will bring up my calculator and ask it what this answer is. 600 divided by 0.25 gives me an answer of 2400. And so I know now that my equilibrium GDP, which is the GDP where GDP equals consumption plus investment, is 2400. So I'll go back and plug that in to my homework question. So in this economy the equilibrium GDP is 2400. Good. Now it wants us to draw these things on the graph. So use the point drawing tool on the graph to the right to indicate the real GDP point that you found above and label that point E. And then we want to use the drawing tool, the line drawing tool to carefully graph the consumption plus investment line and properly label that line. So let's bring this up here. We want to find the point where GDP equals 2400 and since it's the equilibrium GDP we know that consumption plus investment also equals 2400. So we know we want to go to 2400 on the horizontal axis as well as 2400 on the vertical axis and remember you can watch the um, up here in the right hand corner you can watch the point that you're at to be sure that you get to the exactly the right point so I want 2400 2400 to be the point that I label and it wants us to label that E there we go so next it wants us to use the line drawing tool to graph the consumption plus investment line. And remember, to draw a line, we just need to know two points on that line. We already know one of those points is going to be at the equilibrium, because the equilibrium is wherever my consumption plus investment line crosses my GDP line, or wherever it equals my GDP, right? So I know that we're going, this is going to be one point on that line. Now to find another point on that line, I'm just going to look at what consumption plus investment is when GDP equals zero. So I know that my consumption is 200 plus 0.75 times GDP. And if GDP is zero, that means my consumption is just 200, right? So if I plug in a zero for the Y over here, I just get a 200 for consumption. And I also know my investment equals 400. So consumption plus investment is 200 plus 400, which is 600 whenever my GDP equals zero. So I know I can go to zero on the GDP axis and go up to 600, which is here. And I know that that's the first point on my line. And like I said, because we know that the equilibrium point is also a point on the line, the consumption plus investment line, because it's wherever that consumption plus investment line crosses this 43, 45 degree line, I know that I can go ahead and draw that line on out to this point and I'm going to go a little beyond it. So I know that that is my consumption plus investment line. I can save that, check that answer, good. And that's it for that question. Um, so if you have, let's, uh, I'll go back so you can look at my finished product there. Um, so if you have any more questions about this, feel free to stop by office hours or send me an email.